bringing you the latest news from Bucks County. This is the Courier Times Update with Rachel Cannell. This Courier Times Update is brought to you by St. Mary Medical Center in Langhorne, PA. It's your health. Expect more. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Rachel Cannelli reporting from the Courier Times newsroom with your news update for Thursday, June 6. Six people are now confirmed dead and more than a dozen injured from a building collapse in Center City. A woman has also been found alive 13 hours after the collapsed building, crumpled on top of a Salvation Army thrift store located next door, trapping people under the rubble as rescuers rushed to get them out. Among those rescuers were Upper Southampton Fire Chief Tom Brown and his chocolate Labrador retriever Phoenix, who is a disaster search and rescue dog. Phoenix is trained in live scent detection and able to find living people who are trapped under rubble and debris. Brown and Phoenix are part of the Bucks County Technical Rescue Task Force. Reporter Naomi Hall has this full story at BucksCountyCourierTimes.com. Crews working to clean up the former Fergusonville sewage plant property in Bristol Township made a surprise find. More than 330,000 gallons of previously undiscovered sludge. The thick, watery mess, which is untreated residue generated during the sewage treatment process, has been sitting for over a decade. Bucks County officials used open space money to buy the old sewage plant in an effort to clean it up. Removing the sludge from the 20-acre site will cost taxpayers more than $180,000. Reporter Jim McGinnis has all the details on this story on our website. In a rare legal move, a Bucks County judge found Drew Bodden guilty of third-degree murder in the Thanksgiving Eve crash that killed a nine-year-old girl. The reason it's rare is because malice, a key element in determining murder, is rarely proven in vehicular homicide cases. But prosecutors say Bodden's speed at the time of the accident placed greater responsibility on him than anyone else. Charging a third-degree murder is... Um it's not often charged in a homicide by vehicle type case. And what is required for a third degree murder is that we prove malice, uh, which is basically shows a, a hardness of heart uh, that the defendant consciously disregarded a known risk. Very remorseful about uh, what he did on that night and, and the effect it's had on, on uh, that family. Bodden's family has posted the $30,000 cash bail to allow him to remain free until he is sentenced. As a condition of that bail, Bodden is banned from driving. Reporter Lori Mason Schrader has more info on this story online. Your Bucks County forecast is mostly cloudy with a high near 74. Showers are expected tonight with a low around 63. The rain continues Friday with a possible thunderstorm, heavy downpours, and a high near 74. When we return, we'll talk to a representative from the Network of Victim Assistance Bucks County about their upcoming inaugural No Bullying Run. Check it out when we come right back. NOVA does a lot to help victims of crime in our area, but they also have bullying prevention and awareness education programs in our schools, and that's why they're holding their inaugural No Bullying Run Saturday, June 15th, and Mandy Mundy is here to tell us a little bit more about that. Mandy, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So tell us about the event. Yes. NOVA's first Young Professional Advisory Board, which is a group of young adults in the community interested in learning more about nonprofit board membership have planned this event to help raise awareness of the harmful effects of bullying in our community. We know that nearly 650,000 children miss school daily because of bullying, teasing, taunting, ostracism. So we really wanted to plan an event close to our mission of NOVA to bring the community together to raise awareness. So the inaugural No Bullying Run, which will be held on June 15th, rain or shine, at Doylestown Central Park, has a five mile run and a one mile family friendly run walk, including family friendly activities for the course of the morning with um, demonstrations by East West Karate, board breaking opportunities, Newtown Athletic Club will be there demonstrating Taekwondo, we'll have story hour for young children, friendship bracelet making, and just announced American Idol season 10 um, contestant Devin Rush will be there performing her anti-bullying single Runaway. So we're really hoping for an opportunity to bring community, families, children together to take a stand against bullying. Tell us about the cost. 
The cost is $25 for the five mile run and $10 for the one mile walk or run until June 9th. That's the pre-registration date. After June 9th, you can register for an additional $5, so $30 for the run or $15 for the walk by calling NOVA or contacting us through our website or by um, walk-up registration the day of the event. Now, do you have to run or, or can I pay you money to not run you and enjoy pay. the family fun activities. You can pay money, make a donation to NOVA and just come <laughs> and enjoy the day. It's all about coming together and really showing uh, solid support against bullying. Okay, great. Well, good luck with the event. It's, it sounds like it's a great cause and thanks again for coming in. Thank you for having us. In high school sports, Pensbury High School junior wrestler Caitlin Fitzpatrick took second place at the recent FILA Body Bar Women's National Championships, which qualified her for the honor of competing on the 2013-2014 national team. Fitzpatrick will practice at the U.S. Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs in preparation for competitions in Sweden and Germany. She took second place at 108 pounds in the cadet freestyle division for 15 to 17 year olds in Lakeland, Florida in order to qualify for nationals. Reporter Drew Markle has more on this story at BucksCountyCourierTimes.com. In professional sports, Phillies pitcher Roy Halladay is recovering from shoulder surgery and spoke with reporters about how the rehab process is going so far. Obviously, the surgery was what we thought it was, and uh, um, so far the rehab has been uh, very good. It's been very good. Uh, feels strong, feels smoother. I feel the difference. Um, so uh, very, very pleased with uh, the outcome and uh, the direction we're headed. You can see reporter Kevin Cooney's full video on our website. Now, here's a look at what we're working on in the newsroom. Volunteers from Parks Casino are helping to build a home with Habitat for Humanity in Bristol today. Parks is a sponsor of the home. Photographer Kim Weimer will have photos. The Rotary Club of Langhorn and other sponsors unveil a new electronic sign that will display public notices for things like safety and traffic. We'll bring you all the details. And finally, strut down to 2nd Street to see the Mummers Museum, a tribute to the finest of feathered brigades, fancies, and bands. Gwen Schrift will also have the Mummers Summer Concert schedule. Keep checking BucksCountyCourierTimes.com for updates on all of these stories, or you can follow me on Twitter for your latest local news. I'm Rachel Kennelly. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.